you everyone for joining us for today's Upper Long Lake Lake Board meeting of August 29th. If we could start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, so first we have review, um, review of the posted meeting notices. Well, okay, so um, this, the, the notices, in fact, were posted at all the locations, including West Bloomfield. Yay! Uh, <laughs> which is the purpose of our meeting today, to reconfirm decisions made at a prior meeting when the posted notices were not at West Bloomfield. That's so, right. Uh, we're reviewing what we've done before. Perfect. And then we have next is public comment. And not seeing anyone, I will go ahead and close public comment. And next is to approve the meeting minutes of February 27th. Unless anybody has any comments or changes, I'd look for a motion. So I'll, moved. I'll, I'll so move. Okay, I will okay. second then. All right. I'll second. So we have motion by Ron Kuzno, second by Terry Weingarten. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That passes. Next we have the joint wet uh, management, sorry, joint weir management business meeting minutes of July 31st. Again, if there's no changes, I'd look for a motion. Also move also. I'll support. Motion by Ron Kuzno, support by, was it, by Marsh, Gershenson. Commissioner Gershenson. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That passes. Next we have confirming expenditures since last <laughs> review of February 24th I'm through sorry. August 24th, 2023. And the items uh, are summarized behind uh, item six in the packet. Um, there's a table summarizing each one and then the actual um, expense ledger supporting those. If there's any questions, um, let me know. But these are items that, that you know, Ron, of, board, of course, first reviews them and approves them. I review them, approve them, and uh, uh, Chair Walsh reviews and approves them as well. Are there any questions? If not, I look for a motion. So moved. Motion by J.C. Garrison. Support. Support by Treasurer Weingarten. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That passes. Next is considering the approval of amending the budget for Fragmite's expenses to authorize reimbursing oh, Ron Cuzno for Fragmite expenses. Okay, so this is actually this is actually the one new item I that's say, on here. I don't here. remember discussing this, this one. Okay. So we had discussed um, at prior meeting that uh, that the Fragmites uh, project be handled uh, in accordance with the typical uh, approach, which is we contract with a vendor. The vendor is insured. The vendor is a corporation. The long-standing practice, I mean decades, has been that that. Uh, um, that Mem members of the of the lake community themselves take this on. They're right. hired really as just individuals, um, and Mr. Kuzno uh, pays those individuals, and then we re reimburse him. Um, at our last meeting, we decided that that was going to stop. That just absolutely was going to stop. We had to go to a process that had a more formalized um, uh, corporation structure for our own protection, the protection of the, of the workers as well. Um, but of course, there's some overlap here. So, Ms. Kuzno, you know, there had been work already done in July, mm -hmm. and then, then we met. Uh, and I just wanted to ensure that we were, you know, uh, before approving these, that the, the, they came to the board, we'd agree to pay what had already been incurred at that yes. time. Um, and so that Mr. Kuzno remains, remains uh, whole for the efforts. Uh, they do great work. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, again, the, the, the proper procedures and, and insurance and risk management. So I would propose that we, we you know, pay these expenses. Um, and the, we also went a little bit over, so we have to amend the budget to do so as well. So those are the two reasons why we'd be here. But, so it turns out in the Fragmites, uh, we've hired Cardinal to do the Shores Island, and they haven't done it yet. And that's $2,000. And the guy who's doing the Fragmites now, or used to be, Used to be. To. He won't be ever doing it again. Uh -huh. well, no, he might. Never well, paid he's... by us, though, but yes, you could if you pay him out of pocket after today. He could go, oh, wait a could, minute. He could incorporate. I, I, I'm sure. But until he incorporates, yeah, if he yeah. becomes a real entity with insurance, with everything. Yeah. He's, 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 he's looking into insurance. Okay, good. So he's looking into insurance to become a contractor. An incorporation. And a, yeah. and a corporation. Yeah. To, to be funded. But I've also tried to research uh, Long Lake 
uh, Lower Long Lake Shores and Forest Lake, and they, they don't have a good contract for treating Phragmites. As a matter of fact, our guy ended up treating some of the Phragmites on Lower Long Lake by accident. Uh, you know, I mean, he, he, he was working on a piece of property that was on our lake, and he saw next door there was 4,000 plants over there, so he went over and treated those 4,000, but it turns out that that was on Lower Long Lake. Uh, and the Lower Long Lake currently doesn't have a contract. To, so I'm having a hard time finding a contractor that will do Phragmites work, maybe on all three or four of our lakes, you know. Uh, and and uh, uh, someone said Cardinal got bought over by somebody else. Yes. And uh, I, I placed a phone call to Cardinal and they never returned my call. So I, I actually haven't talked to anybody over there yet. But the process that we are using is the process that's considered nationally the best process. It was invented by somebody in Canada. And what they do is early in the season, they, they uh, dig up the plant four inches under, underground and, th and that kills most of the plants. And then th they don't use Roundup at all. So they don't use Roundup because of the consequence to the neighbors. Now it turns out we have 120 some odd sites on our lake and maybe 115 of those are on private property growing along with the flowers and the plants on that person's private property. So that's why we don't use Roundup. So we use this other technique. Well, Cardinal only uses Roundup and, and they do it at the end of the season when the plant's 12 feet tall. Uh, but the people don't want a 12 foot tall plant growing amongst their flowers. So I'm trying to find somebody who'd be willing to do this. Now, the people we've hired do this by hand, you know, plant by plant. I know because I've probably spent two to 300 hours myself teaching these people how to do it and showing them where to do it and how to do it and so on and so forth. I mean, I've got a lot of experience doing this. And I went to Canada and got trained by the people in Canada and I actually have literature on it. So I'm having a problem finding somebody that will do Phragmites, quote, the right way. And on Lower Long Lake, I, I noticed that they had a map of it and their map is much like mine. They have a hundred and some odd people and it's up mostly on private property. Same with Forest Lake. So at the last meeting, you know, Tom, we were gonna, uh, the Groups, the riparians and Tom and I are going to help identify a solution that might be cover all of the lakes, and we'll continue to do that. Okay. Um, absolutely, and support you. So keep us updated. Keep Tom updated as to as to your progress. Do you have the we'll number of too. the new company since Cardinal's not the current one anymore? Do you have the number um, to share with Ron? So that you. No, but who, which one? Um, because any numbers from one of the other riparians it. did. Okay. So, if you, you give know, me a, a new, a new phone really number or a, or a contact, I mean. They have a contract with me. Mike, so Mike Lassick has the number. So we'll get it. We'll connect on all those things. Okay. So yeah, keep us up to date. Now, Tom and I today uh, researched where our budget is over the, f uh, the four year. We're $150,000 underspent. So I think we can afford to pay for, you know, five or $6,000 worth of Phragmites. Right. <laughs> Oh, so yeah. I, I would make a motion to uh, to reimburse Mr. Kuzno for the expenses for Phragmite removals that have pri previously occurred, um, and to amend the budget uh, accordingly. Support. Would you would you mind adding to that, and that this is the last time that we would do this for anyone without insurance, and so that this doesn't come yes. back again? Because we have had this discussion. Yes. Over the years before, you can put that in the minutes. Yeah, because yeah. this and I'll accept last, that last friendly time. amendment. <laughs> I, I agree. We've had last times. This will be the last last time. <laughs> so, so uh, I may suggest to add, uh, let's say seven thousand dollars, 
to the. Well, what's the real? What are the expenses? We're not doing future. What yeah, this is just are, as of been, today, Ron. It is Pardon? as of this today. This is as of today, not going forward. Well, we have Frank Mighty's to do this year. No, okay. I mean that makes sense to me. I mean, so I I'm, this, this guy is going to either get an insurance or go into business, or you're going to get me somebody that's going to yeah. do the contract. But we have Frank Mighty's that we need to be treated. But you fully understand that until he's insured and I understand and that he can't do. Okay. 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 I, so yes, I would accept that amendment to motion. Seven thousand dollars. Okay. On the conditions that, that right. uh, uh, um, Chair Walsh mentioned. I'll accept the second friendly amendment. So we have a motion by Clerk Brooke, a second by Treasurer Weingarten. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That does pass. Good. Okay, so next we have to um, consider approval of rec uh, ratifying the decision from the joint Weir Management Business Meeting of July 31st for the Upper Long Lake Improvement Board to support inspecting the Forest Lake Weir's inlet pipe. So this was previously uh, reviewed and discussed and agreed upon at the joint meeting on July 31st. We're now having our own separate business meeting to ratify that decision after it was properly noticed at West Bloomfield. Um, and there's nothing new about this project or no changes and I uh, suggest we uh, well, make a motion to ratify. Well, there were some comments made. Should we increase the size of the, the, uh, the inlet pipe? A couple days ago, uh, bef before that heavy rain, the water level was at 36, which is exactly where we had the weir set at 36. Then we got close to three inches of rain, and the water went up to 39 and a half inches. Now it's up to almost 40 inches, and the weir is completely wide open right now. So how is it the weir can be completely wide open and water keeps increasing in the lake. That's why we're going to inspect that pipe. Yes. yes. No. And figure no, out what's no, going no, on. After no. it. <laughs> after inspecting it. I have an answer for that. This has happened before. It also rained in Hammond Lake, Island Lake, sure. Turtle Lake, and Walnut Lake, and on all these other lakes. And they're dumping water into our lake. In other words, they're overflowed also. So they're dumping water at a rate faster than the weir can handle. And uh, I think the engineer, I can't remember his name, said he would investigate that, but it's, quote, not in the budget. It's the next right. phase. It's the next yes. phase. It would be the, ne it would the be, next phase. It would be the next phase. And, yes. I, and, and I would like to get that kind of data in our minutes saying that we are currently raising the water level, even though the weir is completely well, wide we're not open. Raising we're, the water we're not level. raising we're, anything. Mother Nature raised the water yeah. level. Yeah. Mother, Mother yeah. Nature. You can't make it we're rain and not rain. As, as fast no, but, as possible. But, but the lakes are dumping water into us, and our weir doesn't handle that capacity. The weir is not handling the capacity with the water coming in from the other lakes. That's the issue. Well, the issue is the, the volume second. of rain that's coming. Where there, you have always been connected, and, and Forest Lake has always been the, the lake that it, all of yeah. those lakes drain into. That has not changed. What's changed is the volume of water that comes from time to time in the, in the, 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 the inspecting of the weir outlet pipe will help us make these decisions. Right. So it's, it's a great, great point, but it's premature. And I just suggest we move on and uh, we'll address the next step at the, when, the, when we have the report. But I do think we all agree you're correct that the volume of water coming down from Mother Nature is much higher than it's ever been. Yes. Um, especially to the county's point, they actually have changed standards about 10 years ago. Mm, just recently. Oh, I thought it was a few years Back, ago. Okay. Maybe two years ago now. Oh, it's since, I thought it was before I was supervising. Well, I mean, we've always had stormwater standards, but mm -hmm. with the new regulations, they went from 10 it's to 100. been expanded a little bit to mm -hmm. just deal with, you know, the one acre developments and more. Okay, um, so it used to and be And it's been acres. adjusted for the volume of precipitation we're getting right. currently too. So. And it used yeah. to be 10 year, like uh, all of our subdivisions are having issues because when they were built, it was to the 10 year storm. Those are, those are just a dime a dozen nowadays. We get 100 year storms a yes, lot. So do. now the county standard that we also follow is a 100 year storm. Yep. So you're correct, the volume has increased. Mother nature is definitely putting more in us and then 
Clark Brook is correct, the, the structures haven't changed, the amount coming in are. So the first step we're gonna do is see if the pipe's even, maybe the pipe's also broken. Yeah. First we have to check out the pipe to see if it's more than just volume. If the pipe's broken, then we need to know our next step. If the pipe's not broken, the next phase is, okay, what's the next thing that could be wrong, which could be the pipe size. Mm -hmm. So that's why you're correct, you are correct, something's wrong, we're trying to fix it, but we gotta go step by step. Yeah. But we, I think we're all on that same page as, yeah, there's a lot of water coming in. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but our water level uh, this summer has been high. Yeah. Not high enough to open the weir, but but it's 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 high. Right. I mean, we we we're supposed to be at 34 inches, and no more than two inches beyond that, and we've been at 34 most of the summer. Perfect. So we've we've, we've been quote perfect by managing the weir all summer long. I have no problems with the way they're managing the weir. You know, Forest Lake, you know, doing that. I mean, I coordinate with them quite a bit. Uh, but this is, last year it was low water. People complained we didn't have enough water. This year, people are complaining, especially because of the wake boards. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Can I make a motion? What? Did you make the motion? Or I do didn't want to Then ratify. I'll support it. Okay. The motion by Clerk Brook, support by Treasurer Weingarten. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That does pass. So next we'll consider approval to obtain insurance for the Upper Long Lake Improved Board and its members and amend the budget as necessary. And so behind item number nine is the same item that we discussed at our joint meeting on July 31st, which is to obtain directors and officers insurance for the Upper Long Lake Lake Board. The quote is attached and to authorize obtaining um, um, was it eighteen hundred dollars or something? Yeah, eighteen hundred dollars to DNO, and then um, errors and emotion, emissions insurance also, and then for a total budget amendment of was it three thousand dollars? Three thousand dollars, which we approved at our last meeting. This is asking simply to ratify. Oh no, is this? This is. It was tabled. Oh, we tabled it. Yeah, okay, we tabled it. that's right. Thank you for the reminders. So we discussed it at the last meeting, but we ended up tabling it because we identified the concern about posting it at uh, West Bloomfield, so. Yeah, right. and, and my point I made before, we got enough money to pay for it. Let's do it. So okay. I'll make a motion to pass this. Support. Okay. Motion by Ron Kuzno, support by Clerk Brook. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That passes. Great. And next. I think you um, even got in almost I, 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> under, almost under 10 minutes? No. Okay, oh no, not even close. <laughs> Motion to adjourn at 1024. Well, I, 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 wanna, I wanna just discuss with township people and lake board people, the wake board issue. Well, that's wake surfing. just not a lake board issue. We, you could talk but, to us but, later but, as, as. But my question is, I, I, I created a survey of people who live around the lake. And the survey is to be mailed to the people that are in our SAD. And it turns out, I don't know if it's the lake board or the township has the mailing addresses of all those people. And my question is, how do I mail this out to these people? And who, and who pays for that? Right, we can just send them, we get a request, it's a FOIA, we can send them those addresses. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. We'll Frankly, the they're, they're Every time there's been a uh, SAD hearing, you already oh, have it in, in your packet. old packets. Because mm -hmm. um, it lists all of the addresses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have a list. Every time we do an SAD. Every time we do, with, every time we do the uh, hearing on the assessment, it goes in the, the role is the mailing addresses. Can you make yeah. it easier for him, though, and just send it? Yeah, I, I'm shaking my head, but okay. that's because Tom's going to do it for us. <laughs> Tom, can <laughs> you make you, it Tom. easier and just send it? Thank you. I appreciate well, that. So we'll make well, sure. Well, I, I know somebody mails those things out, and it's not me personally. I know who it is. Okay. But we, so he won't <laughs> mail it out for you, but he will give you the list so that you can contact those people. Okay. So in other words, you're saying that Ron Cousineau has to pay for all those letters that are going out. If Ron, Ron wants Cousineau to do something personal that is outside of the lake board, I'm, Ron Cousineau gets to pay for it, yes. Because well, this is more of an HOA, not a lake board. Because the wake, wake surfing 
is causing damage to the water, damage to people's property, it's not safe on the lake. And I would think that unsafe activity on the lake would be a lake board issue. It's not. It's not the it's DNR. Not. Okay, so there are people the, of the lake board supports unsafe activity. 100% no. not true. No. Oh. 100% not have, true. Well, we have unsafe. Without we have the ability unsafe to do what you want to do. We We're have offering you suggestions of who to go to. I believe you've had multiple emails. Clerk Brook has given you so many answers. You're choosing not to listen to what he said. You're choosing to come back to the same place. He's told you we can't fix what you want to fix, and he keeps giving you. It's like you drag the horse to water and you're refusing to drink. He's yeah. giving you so much help and information. Please listen to what he's saying. He's trying to help you. In other words, the township and the lake board are telling me that Ron Cousineau has to pay no. personally no. Not for at all. the mail. Not no. at all what, what you're saying. What I'm suggesting is you know, what I've said. Is this question is not a lake board question. It's a township question involving West Bloomfield and Bloomfield Township. And if you want to, to, to pursue it, I, there's a, you, your, my suggestion is to go to your HOA. I would imagine if they support it, they will pay for the mailing. Yes. So you have to ask them. Okay. We can't, we can't HOA we, should pay we're for authorized it. to spend that so money. So uh, 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 tell me who the HOA is. We have 12 subdivisions in our sub, on our lake. Start so we have to go to all 12 of those Homeowners Terry Association. Cunahan. Yeah, Terry Cunahan is oversees the POA, which oversees the HOAs. So you'd want to start with Terry Cunahan, because he care. would be able to work with you to contact everybody. And this is something you're correct again. It's not something a lot of us like at all. So this is something that, as a group, you together can make a difference. But you're coming to the wrong group. You need to get with Terry and get with all of those people that also agree they don't want a lot of them don't want wakeboards but we're just no, not the wake, right entity wake, wake surfing uh, to answer a question that wasn't even quite wake surfing boats can actually go on the lake without wake surfing so if you own a wake surfing boat you don't have to wake surf you can still go on the lake and water ski and wakeboard and so on and so forth so we're not trying to get rid of the boats. We're just wake surfing yeah. using the boat. So I think we've beaten this. You know, we've yeah. covered this. There's nothing else to cover about it. And Again, I'll continue to help you with advice about It's also not on the agenda. It. So not it's kind agenda, of, unfortunately, so. a point of order. Yeah. Wanna, yeah. Uh, I can make a motion to adjourn. Sure. Yeah, motion by Clerk Brook, support by Treasurer Weingarten. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That does pass. Thank you very much.